TSM are yet to reach the high standards they set for themselves in 2020, and star player Wardell will need to put the team on his back if they want to book a ticket to Masters. Player one trying to do their darndest to trade the kills back and forth, but Wardell looking for a 6k on the round, finds three. And unfortunately, my math doesn't add up because they're down to the last two, and a nice Sage Wall gets mowed down quite a bit, down to the last little bit. Wardell to find the ace on the way out, and TSM burst across the finish line. The TSM roster has struggled during VCT Stage 1, but the team star Fragger is yet to slump like his counterparts. Despite flopping to the likes of Xset and Gen.G, Wardell has been the only reason they've been able to stay competitive. Well, Hayes eventually slides and he's able to find Sean, sure. And TSM's Wardell pitches in as well, but Gen.G are still holding on here, but only for just a moment as Wardell has now made things interesting. It's now a two versus two. He pops the ult. The other two defenders having to play the spike from well behind. Hunter's free though from Mikhail. Could indeed be what the doctor ordered as Koos is able to play off of it for another pick, and now it's all on Wardell. He's found one, but now he's been found out, and time has ticked too far. Familiar with being in the carry role, Wardell is synonymous with clutch. On his signature jet, with Operator in hand, he's dragged his team back from the brink more times than you could count. Now he boasts the best KD in North America on the knife-slinging agent, and he's looking as dangerous as ever. He's just delaying time in a sense, just waiting for that smoke to dissipate, not gonna be able to get the kill. Instead, Raw Run takes one back onto Haze. Watch out for one over towards Long, but oh! Wardell! For a while, his teammates failed to reach the same heights, underperforming in the important moments. So to counter TSM, teams merely had to stifle Wardell's ability to pop off to guarantee a win. It kind of just played into their hands. I mean, I feel like TSM put themselves on this chain reaction where they tried to go for one play, it didn't work, and it forced them to keep going for plays. And they all got caught by Gen.G. But Wardell, again, he's still alive on the server with an operator, so you always have to be concerned that he can maybe pull something off. But this time, he is silenced pretty quickly, and Gen.G will collect. But at Challenges 3, TSM are turning it around as they stampeded their way through the third open qualifiers, meaning that Wardell no longer finds himself having to do it all. One man doesn't make the team, and Wardell needs his supporting cast to keep their form up. Hayes and Sabrosa have both stepped up, with massive performances throughout the qualifiers. This is exactly what Wardell needs. With a more well-rounded squad that's once again on the same page, TSM didn't drop a single map in their path to the main event and the team regaining their footing couldn't have come at a better time, with rivals questioning if the squad still has what it takes to compete at the top. Are you saying TSM is no longer a top five team? I don't know if you can call them a top five team. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they, I, I think they still have the potential to be one of the best teams, but you can't go out and two open qualifiers back to back and still, I mean, this is, this is why the TSM fans are just, just sad right now because TSM was supposed to be the best team in the world in NA and they didn't win first strike and now they haven't qualified through two open qualifiers so it's hard to it's hard to say Kiko and 100 Thieves are one of TSM's toughest opponents at Challengers 3 with the likes of NRG, FaZe and T1 also waiting to pounce up first for Wardell and Co are Gen G who present a considerable threat to TSM's chances of Masters qualification Solo mids black and white will have to up the ante to defeat their kryptonite. He leaps on out. He tries to speed on towards elbow. He's able to find drone. He just no way. Elbow. He's able to do it on the haze. And Kusto will get the defuse. Gen G will send TSM home. After two straight losses, Wardell's operator jet combo clearly isn't enough. His teammates will have to step up if they're to stand a chance at recreating flashy plays like this one. I think historically this corner is checked, but not this time around. He's going to spray down two, and it's a 1v1. Wardell on 5 HP. Seconds left. As Gimon looks to find his kill, Wardell creeps. Oh, oh, he finds the flick. He finds the kill. TSM's biggest strength is their synergy. Seamless trades and snappy mid-round calls are what catapulted them to the top of NA's rankings. So to capitalize on recent roster shuffles, they'll need to rediscover their mojo. But the inverse also holds some truth. If TSM falls short again, an internal roster shakeup is the next logical step. This is the last chance saloon before the powers that be start questioning who needs to be cut from the pack. And right now, Wardell holds all the cards. But what do you think? Do you reckon that Wardell can bring victory to the TSM faithful? Or will the opposition be able to clam up the Canadian star? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Deserto for much more Valorant content.